Hi guys, next project, I'm going to see if I can make something with these plastic coat hangers. I've actually got two projects in mind, so, well, we'll see what we can do. Looks like the hook piece should just be released by squeezing together under there. I have an idea of something I can do with that bit and I've got an idea of something I can do with this bit. I'm going to cut this in half now, straight down the middle. I've had a good rummage through my we call these drawers? Well, bottle tops and well, more sort of bottle tops and pens and that sort of thing. What I've ended up with is I've got a couple of plastic tops there that I think we can use for wheels, a couple more matching plastic tops there which we can use for wheels. Uh, beading wire. That spool looks like just the right sort of thing I want. And plastic ballpoint pen that I can use the tube from. So the first thing we're going to do, because I found those bits, is make a good old rubber band powered car. The plastic pen tube is going to be for the front axle tube. The plan is to glue that on the front so I'm going to have to um, file that down or sand it down so we've got the right shape to match the curve of the pen. To get the right sort of shape onto the end of there I've wrapped some sandpaper round the pen tube. At the moment I'm not having much luck. I've tried a few different types of glue and none of them are gluing both types of plastic, which is not unusual. So I'm resorting to using my hot glue gun. That's just temporary to get the positioning right, then I'll put some more glue right round it to make it stronger. I've glued that um, plastic spool in the back there. I had to use hot glue again. None of the glues I've used seem to want to stick these types of plastics together. So we've got a barbecue skewer there for the front axle. I've drilled holes through the back here. So we've got back axle. I think what I might do is I'll pop out into the garage and see what sorts of spray paint I've got and give it a little coat of colour just to make it look a little bit more interesting. I've spray painted the chassis so while the paint is drying we'll have a look at the wheels. I think these lids come off of coffee jars. They've got a convenient little dimple right in the middle so we know where the middle is. I position my fingers so I don't stick the spike through my finger. I'll just push that in. Now on the inside, they've got this bit of cardboard. And that might be quite useful if we can get it out in one piece. Because if we then 
glue that round the outside edge. That will give us two points of contact for the axle, which will help to hold it in place. These lids, I've already used this one once before. Yeah, they'll do for the front wheels, which will be nice and light. You might need to cut some balloons to use as tyres to give us a bit of extra grip. Well, there's the chassis, spray painted, so it looks a bit more interesting. I've got some plastic tubing here that I'm going to cut some short lengths just to space the wheels to keep them away from the bodywork. It's best if they're a very good tight fit on the axle then they won't spin when they shouldn't. Spacer. The other spacer. So that's the back axle. I'll glue a little bit of the barbecue skewer sticking out at an angle or directly out so we can hook the rubber band on easily. I'll do that in a minute. Oh, we might be lucky, that might be just long enough. There we are. Just a little point. I'll glue it straight on there with a bit of hot glue. That's just to help you position the rubber band. A bit sunny out here in the conservatory. See how that does. Well, that worked fine. I didn't have any target for distance. That was about seven meters it did there without even winding it up properly. So, success, quick summary. What have we got here? Well, when I started I had no particular plan what I wanted to do with it. But we have a rubber band powered car made from 
a clothes hanger, plastic clothes hanger. And that's it. It works. Job done.